um, in Le Sentier. This quarter is all about making and selling clothes. I'm here to meet Bruno. Bruno is a fellow French Australian. Okay, bonnet off. I'm with Bruno. I've met Bruno at Tribes and I just wanted him to, to tell you about his project. I'm a Parisian. I used to, be, I used to live in Paris for a long time. Uh, I was working in the media and um, I've decided to leave Paris to go to Australia with my wife and my three kids. Not because we were not happy in Paris, we love Paris. So no visa, no job, nothing. Left Paris, went to Sydney, found a job got the family in and lived, uh, we lived six years in Sydney and uh, became Australians. So at one point decided to come back in Paris to find a job differently uh, 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 with more values, more human values. I managed to become the head of a new event called the Women's Forum for the Economy and Society. We did one in Deauville and one in Beijing in China and realized how gathering people with the same spirits could be very strong and very powerful um, and uh, deliver a lot of energy. So um, I decided to quit the Women's Forum and to uh, think about a way to uh, inspire people, think about new way of working, new way of living. And, uh, I thought about this uh, this project called Tribe, like, you know, Tribe to be inspired, meaning that we are men and women and we can help each other and launched it in Paris. The first theme of Tribe was uh, Dare My Life, Oser Ma Vie in French. So there are three or four people talking about the theme and then um, there are workshops where people can do yoga, dance, theater, cl clown, uh, drawing, uh, relaxation, to kind of get out of their comfort zone a bit, but uh, most of it is about meeting others. So how many tribes have you organized yet? Uh, we did uh, 10. Last week was the 10th in Paris, uh, right. twice, uh, twice a year. We are looking at organizing tribe in London, Sydney maybe, and um, yeah, for now that's pretty that's, cool. Yeah, that's Sydney, be built. Count, count yeah. me in. Yeah, Sydney would be great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Here we are. Okay, you find the link below as usual. Bye. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Bruno. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Quick stop, Rue Réaumur. Réaumur was a 19th century French scientist. This street is particular because it's still huge, but it hasn't been designed by Haussmann this way. This street has been created between 1895 and 1805, so it's 40 years after Haussmann. Two exciting things about this street. The first one is being designed with a facade contest. So the winner got their building built. The second one, 1895, is the beginning of the use of steel and concrete. It was groundbreaking technology at the time. The, the Eiffel Tower has been built in 1899, so it was in the middle of this contest. The facade contest was about making buildings where you could make things and sell them. Each of these buildings had inside a factory and a shop. What is not the case okay. for Haussmann, where the All first right. floor well, is for a concierge. Another winner behind me. As you can see, more steel and big windows, New York style. And you even have the name of the quarter I am now, Le Sentier. And behind me, my favorite building, because it's Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau is the style of the metro. Art Nouveau is not Art Deco, be careful. Art Deco is from the 1920s. Art Nouveau is 1902, 1903, and it's supposed to imitate nature.
Hai merit. It's snowing. It's about time. 